You know what? I think everything is looking really good for this point in the summer. I was kind of worried with all of the late rains we had. I wasn't worried. That's because you never worry about anything. Well, that's what you're here for. You are the classic overthinker. It's called planning ahead. Well, it's a good thing, because together, we are a perfect balance, like wine and cheese. All right, fine. As long as I get to be the wine in this scenario. <laughs> you are so the cheese. What? What kind of cheese? Gorgonzola, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> obviously. Uh, you really want to know why I'm not worried? Why? Because we have Sorrento, we have our first vintage ready to bottle, and we have each other. Oh, see? You're the cheese. All right, get over here. Where? Uh, we should hold that thought. We're still on the clock. I'll just ask one of the owners if we can take a break. She said yes. I know, but we should really try to keep business and romance separate, Frankie. Mm. I'm sorry, sir, because I thought that you were the one who kissed me just then. I, I didn't say that it would be easy, but we should try. We need to be able to make business decisions about Sorrento without Heads our... Heads and not our hearts. Okay, I don't sound like that, but yes. But wine is all about heart. <laughs> all right, well, I'm pretty sure the bank isn't going to be accepting emotions as payment when our loan is due soon. Well, someone very wise once said, don't let the accountants make the wine. You just made that up. It's possible. <laughs> all right. Well, as long as it's... Business time. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, think outside the box about these vines, but we can circle back about the other stuff later. Now you are pushing it. What are you gonna do? Report me to HR. Quitting time, business partner, which means that you can be my girlfriend again. Oh. Mittens, really? Come on, llama. You're supposed to go chase squirrels. Do we look like squirrels to you? Uh. Did he just say yes? Yeah. <sighs> Oh my gosh, I gotta get Lexi from the train station. Took your restaurant closing down for you to have time to come up. I know, it's fine though, really. I mean, it's not like Chicago's the only place that needs pastry chefs, right? Well, maybe this time you'll fall in love with St. Madeline and you'll stay. <laughs> oh, well, it is gorgeous here. Pick the right time of year. Yeah, it seems like it. What is all the Summerfest stuff? Okay, so every year here on Main Street, there's a week-long arts festival called Art Walk. Then there's a food and wine pairing called Taste of oh. St. Madeline. All of the wineries pair up their new vintage with a big time chef. Oh, it's, uh, <laughs> that sounds incredible. It is. Are you Nate doing that? Who's your chef? We are, but unfortunately, it seems all of the established wineries have snatched everyone up. Aww. Hey, are you hungry? Yeah, I'm actually starving. Okay, good. Let's get to the house. Nate is cooking, and I cannot wait for you to meet him. I still can't get over that you ended up buying a winery with a Deluca. Mm. Aren't we both been supposed to have some decades old feud with them? Let's just say we managed a truce. <sighs> Hey, Marco. Hey. Got those filters you're looking for. Oh, thanks, big bro. Still working away on this exhaust here. Uh, you want to put that one in for me? <laughs> Thank you. I was just bringing it to you. I don't work here anymore. Well, then maybe just helping out your little brother, huh? Mm. <laughs> Fine. Can you pass me that one-inch crescent, please? That I can do. So, how things going around here? I know you had to take on a lot more after I left. Well, that's fine, the usual. Still looking for something new to sink my teeth into, like you did, though. I thought you were happy taking over the family business. Yeah, I am, but, you know, there's nothing wrong with wanting something more. That's the DeLuca in you. Yeah. Hey, you want to come by Sorrento for dinner tonight? What, and take more heat from Frankie about breaking her best friend Hannah's heart? I don't think so. I'm making ribs. I'm there. Dios Trace Lemonade Time. Okay. You guys, this house is awesome. Mm -hmm. But you both own it, right? Right. So how did she convince you to let her live here instead of you? <laughs> By reminding him that whoever lives here has to take care of the llama. Oh. Mm. Not a fan. <laughs> um, I forgot the cookies. I'll be right back. Would you mind grabbing the bread when you're in there? Sure, thanks. Hey, Marco. 
Marco, what are you doing all the way over here? Another broken-hearted woman chased you out of town? I, uh, I invited him earlier. I'm pretty sure I told you. Let me get this straight. Lexi's been in town an hour, and you're already setting her up on dates? No, absolutely not. You know, now that you mention it. Sorry, who's Lexi? She's my cousin, and she's off limits. All right, all right. Don't worry about it. I'm on a dating hiatus anyway. Mm-hmm. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go wash my hands. Oh! Oh! Oh, oh. 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 nice oh. save. Got it. Yeah, <laughs> sometimes the soccer goalie in me comes in handy. Oh, no way. I was a soccer goalie, too. No way. It takes a lot of guts to put your body on the line like that. Yeah, I'm broken, fractured, torn Achilles heel. Broken, torn ACL, stitches. Oh, nice. Yeah. Thank you. No problem. I'm Marco DeLuca, by the way. I'm Nate's brother, fourth generation winemaker. I'm Lexi, Frankie's cousin, first generation pastry chef. Ah. Did you bake those? I did. Can I? Do you want one? Yes. Wow. <laughs> wow. Well done. <laughs> Thank you, Lexi. Do not fall for the DeLuca charms. They're heartbreakers, all of them. Whoa! Oh, you're reformed. Okay. This one, that's the one. <laughs> gotcha. OK. OK, that is not true. And I just want you to know that I'm a big fan of flour, butter, sugar, and eggs. So if you ever need a taste tester, I'm in. I will keep that in mind. Washing my hands. You told me you guys are doing the Taste of St. Madeline. Can't wait to go. Yeah, we still need to find a chef to team up with. It's not easy, but we're trying. Mm. Everyone pays top dollar for the best of the best. Which is why DeLuca Winery is pairing up once again with Chef Jane Turner. Wait, the chef from the Table de France? Yeah. I didn't even try and get a reservation because they're booked like a year in advance. Do you guys really know her? Yeah, yeah she's amazing. <laughs> well, as amazing as she is, I think Nate here is giving her a run for her money. That homemade sauce you put on the ribs, the truffled mashed potato, that cilantro mm. coleslaw, I think that was all restaurant quality. And pretty much everything he makes is that good. So, Nate, why don't you do the pairing? That's actually not a bad idea. Wait, really? And maybe you could do a dessert with them. Oh, I don't know. I don't know, pairing is all about balance. So if you have a wine with fruit undertones, you just balance it with something savory or tart. And if you and have a wine oaky, with... <laughs> you balance it with something sweet? Yeah, I know. Right, of course you do. <laughs> But you do know your stuff. I just, I meant that I literally don't know if I could do the pairing. I don't have anywhere to bake in such high volume. And that reminds me, whoever does the tasting dinner also has to cook for the long table dinner the next night. What's that? Uh, the winery who hosts the tasting throws a private dinner for all the winemakers and their clients. I just feel like we have so much on our plates right now. We're releasing our first vintage. We have next year's harvest. You know what, you're right. We should focus on that. Maybe next year. Right. Only 10 days to go till Taste of St. Madeline. Well, and the debut of Sorrento's soon to be legendary first Cabernet Sauvignon. Legendary, huh? No pressure there. Why wouldn't it be? I mean, your Baldwin Cab won every single award there was to win at last year's Harvest Festival. What's the problem? Everyone in this valley is expecting greatness, and we haven't even bottled Sorrento's first vintage yet. Why wouldn't they? Everyone knows what you can do with a barrel fermented grapes in a little time. So do I. You know that your opinion is the one that means the most to me, right? I'm not worried. Of course you're not. <laughs> you didn't realize we're talking about work during a couple time, right? Uh, no, it's a loophole. I'm just telling my girlfriend how great I think she is. At uh, winemaking. You can't even follow your own <laughs> rules. Do you think we're capable of talking about something other than wine? Of course we are. We're getting ice cream. Completely not wine related. Right? What flavors do they have? Cherry Chardonnay, Raspberry Merlot, Beach <laughs> Zinfandel. <laughs> Well, we tried. We tried. <laughs> These look great. Mm -hmm. The Lehman family's doing a wonderful job. It's never easy for the host winery to juggle having both the wine and food tasting and the long table dinner at their property. I'm glad it's going smoothly. Mm -hmm. They've waited a long time for their turn. And now we have more artists and businesses participating in Art Walk than ever before. What? It seems the DeLuca Winery logo is substantially larger than the Baldwin Farms logo and everyone else as well. Charles Baldwin, you are so competitive. <laughs> Carla DeLuca, you are incorrigible. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> mm, 
You know that 100% of all ice cream related accidents are preventable. Mm, no way. Like the inside of an ice cream cone is what summer's about. I'm gonna try it. No, I think I'll stick with my method. Plus, it's less messy. <laughs> what? Chef Jane. Hey, guys. We were just talking about you yesterday. How's oh, I wish I could help with the taste of St. Madeline, but I've been with DeLuca for so many years. Right. It's okay. We can't afford you anyway. <laughs> well, if you can put out a Cabernet that's anything like last year's, hmm. you'll be very close. I'm working on it. <laughs> I have no doubt. Well, I gotta get back to the restaurant. It's a lunch rush. See you at the tasting? You will. Mm -hmm. You know, finding the right chef for Sorrento's first pairing is so important. It is. All the tourists and media, and we're running out of time. Exactly. Which is why I really think that I should do it. I love your enthusiasm, but is that even allowed? I don't know. Should ask the planning committee. You mean my dad and your mom? Uh-huh. Yeah, and look, there they are at their usual spot. <laughs> you know, for two people that are feuding so much, they sure spend a lot of time together. I'm pretty sure they co-chair every event so they can keep an eye on each other. <laughs> See you later. Hi. Hi, Mom. Hey, hi. Hey, Mr. Baldwin? Uh, that would be Charles, please. <laughs> okay, so I have a quick question for you. Shoot. Is there any rule that says that a winery has to hire a professional chef for the Taste Saint Madeline? Well, I uh, think so. no, but we've always done it that way. It's tradition. Well, maybe it's time to break that tradition. What are you saying? I am saying that I'm going to be doing the cooking for Sorrento's pairing. A lot of people attend the events. Are you sure you want to take on all that extra work? Yes. Besides, you will help me. Well, of course. Well, good for you. Making a big splash at Summerfest is important, especially in the first year. I mean, most wineries don't make it past the first vintage. This business is tough. And any hook that makes Sorrento stand out will help. Let's do it. Yes. OK. okay. This is going to be fun. <laughs> Hey, why is the DeLuca logo so much bigger than all the other ones? <laughs> <laughs> Traitor. You know, I've always liked you. Say, what would you think of us using my growing technique on the vines next year? You're on my turf there, Baldwin. We agreed that you were in charge of the wine, and I am in charge of the vines. Yeah, but that doesn't mean that I don't have an opinion. Look, I've been tweaking the soil over here, made the roots go deeper, made them really struggle, and already the great flowers are stronger. Well, that's fantastic, but I already sprayed my test row with this organic fertilizer that I've been working on in the lab. Mm -hmm. Look at these vines. We're gonna get such a higher yield on the grapes. All I can say is may the best vine win. So, mine. Honestly, I don't care as long as we stay in business. So, mine. You're so competitive. Pot, kettle. It's a compliment. Do you remember in the fourth grade when I beat you that spelling bee? You made that angry little face. Yeah, there it is. See, that's when I knew you are my kind of gal. First of all, that spelling bee is a total <laughs> sham. You get some easy word like cat, we got acrylic. Rigged. You want to go back to my house and take a look at the trophy? <laughs> I'll pass. Well, then how about I stay here and I make you dinner? Hmm, sounds more like it. As long as you don't bring that guy. <laughs> Wouldn't it be amazing to host Summerfest here one day? Yeah, that'd be incredible. Both of our family's wineries became major players after they hosted, and that would mean that we finally made it, and that we did it without relying on our parents. Of course, it takes years to get that chance. Yeah, well, I guess we just got to stay in business. I mean, you remember what your mom said about first-year wineries, right? You name me one other first-year winery that has a vintner that's already won wine of the year. You keep saying that, but you're forgetting that the wine I made last year was with grapes from my dad's farm. That was before we bought Sorrento. That means our Cabernet, it's got to be as good as that. It actually has to be better. I am not, not worried. worried. I know.
couldn't wait to see you. Aww. Count the minutes that we're apart. It's a lot of minutes. Seriously, what are you doing here? <laughs> we need to check the progress on the Shiraz grapes. Oh. Wanna go down to the lake? I would, but I have to get to the cellar. I need to prep the bottling wine. Yeah, well, you can do that another time. It's too nice of a day to be stuck down in a dark cellar. Especially since that means that you get to spend the morning with me. Pretty sure yourself there, huh, DeLuca? Nah, just sure you. Mm. Well, I think it's a little bit early to be sweeping me off my feet. Well, how about then I just sweep you into the car so that we can go look at those vines? Come on. Promise you a great view. Better time of year it's rental than summer. No, nope. it's pretty sweet. It's so lush and so green. Oh no. Oh no. That's what I said. Jonah, how did this happen? Hey sis, water main break under the road leading to the Lehman's property caused a bit of a sinkhole. A bit. It's it's huge. The Lehman's okay? They're fine. Way of the truck must have been the final straw that made the pavement give way. They got out as soon as the road started to buckle. Can you believe this? I'm so relieved the Lehmans are okay. But hosting the taste of St. Madeline in just nine days? That's another story. What do you mean? There's no other way to the property. We don't have time to bridge this. I was really disappointed. We are. Get another chance next summer. Right now, we have to find a new winery to host this summer. Well, that's easier said than done. <laughs> well, let's see if they need more help before we start making phone calls. I feel just terrible. Such bad luck. I mean, I kind of feel bad for whoever has to host. Why? <laughs> You'd have just over a week to get the whole thing together. No time to devote to your own winery, not to mention the cost. Yeah, but every major wine critic in the country will be there. That kind of publicity will be priceless for whoever hosts. That's true. Would be a major coup for whoever can pull it off in time. And our local businesses and wineries cannot afford to lose the major tourism and publicity event of the year. I know we can't. And Summerfest just wouldn't be Summerfest without the food and wine pairing. It's what sets us apart. Couldn't agree more. <sighs> So you uh, want to come back to Sorrento, give the cab a try before we get ready for bottling? Absolutely. Why don't you go ahead without me, get started, take the truck. I'll get my mom to drop me off. Okay. Sorrento is going to have the most epic first year wine launch in the history of the valley. It's just like you said, this Nate. is a Nate. huge coup. I mean, aren't you excited? Nate. With this kind of exposure, we are most likely going to pre sale next year's vintage too, which means that we do not need to worry about surviving our first year. Frankie, we don't have to worry about anything. You can say something. I'm speechless. Thank you. 
Frankie, aren't you more excited? You said yourself that you wanted to host. Yes, I meant someday, not in a week and a half. I said it was great publicity. You agreed. I didn't know you meant Sorrento. Thought it was pretty clear. Look, putting together a food and wine pairing, that's a big enough undertaking on its own. Hosting the entire event at the last second, that's almost impossible. It's not, though. We have that empty field overlooking the lake that we're going to expand to onto someday. It's also the host's responsibility to pay for both events, and we don't have that kind of money. We have our line of credit. That's not what that's for. That's for emergencies, like, for example, if some year we didn't have anything to bottle. Okay, well, you would never let that happen. And we both know that if we didn't have a vintage to put out this year, even the emergency fund wouldn't cover us. Nate, I love how driven you are. Yes. I really do, but we have enough on our hands just running this place. I just think that we need to leave the hosting to someone else. I already signed the contract. Okay. Here's the thing. I know. I should have talked to you first, but I honestly thought that you were already on board. Don't worry, okay? Everything is going to be fine. Just hope you're right. It's okay. Come here. Uh, come back to the house. I'll make you something. Oh, it's okay. I got a lot of work to do still. What are you working on? Uh, what? <laughs> hey, Frankie, what's wrong? It's the Cabernet. It's, it's not ready. What does that mean? It means it's just not quite good enough to put in a bottle. Come on, it can't be that bad. It's not. It's just nowhere close to where I need it to be. I mean, people expect this wine to be mind-blowing, especially me. Well, has he tried it? No, I... I don't want to disappoint him. You don't understand. He loved my last wine so much. He was... He was moved by it. He... He got it. Yeah. I don't know, Frankie. I think you should talk to him. I can control the oxygen levels. I can manually alter the acidity. I was just reading online about this winery that superheated their cellar to accelerate the aging. And if that doesn't work? Well, I'll tell him. Just has to be ready by summer first, that's all. But it's gonna work. Lexi, this is so good, but I cannot just sit here. I have too much to do. I gotta call a florist for the long table dinner. I gotta call the lighting guy. Okay, look, finish your coffee. I'm gonna take it to go. Hi. Hey, Nate. Hi. Look, I know you're not really thrilled about this whole hosting thing, but I was wondering if you might be able to help me decide how to best use the space for both events. Look, uh, we both have our to-do lists today. I just, I gotta... Frankie. It's important to me. All right. See you in a bit, Lexi. Okay, so I just have to level some of this out so we have a place to put the tents. It's beautiful. It really is, isn't it? You know what's even more beautiful? What's that? The fact that even from here, I can see that my row fertilized grapes are clearly outgrowing our strugglers. <laughs> Uh, all right, you got me. Taste of St. Madeline's gonna be amazing here. See, it's all gonna be worth it, I promise. So what happens if the launch of our first vintage doesn't go exactly as planned? Always, with the what ifs. It's my thing, humor me. Okay, if our launch is a failure, then we go broke, we lose Sorrento, and we move in with our respective parents. It's not funny. <laughs> it's a lot of pressure. 
On me, on us. No, look, you need to stop worrying, okay? There's absolutely no downside to this. Our Cabernet is going to be amazing. I can't wait to taste it. Just gotta make a couple tweaks first. Okay, mm. but we have to bottle by next week. I know, okay. I know. Oh, 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 come on. I have to get back to the cellar. It's a couple time. Deserved it. You're a pretty good swimmer, seeing you almost kept up with me out there. <laughs> sure. You know, it was my dad who taught me. Right before he died, actually. I remember your dad. He was cool. He'd be so proud of how you turned out. Wish you could have seen us together. Yeah? You could approve? Oh, yeah. I know he would have. If you're looking for the bakery, unfortunately, it closed a few months ago. Yeah, I know. I actually spoke to the owner. Mm. I was daydreaming about opening up a shop if I stayed here, but the lease is insane, so. Are you looking for an investor? No. Actually, I really want to do this on my own. That I can understand. And you mean, why would you want to invest in me? We barely know each other. I didn't say it was me, I just... Oh, <laughs> sorry. Sorry, I just... Okay, you know, you know what, it was me, just trying to throw my money around in a vain attempt to impress you. That's refreshingly honest. Oh, so it worked. No. No. <laughs> okay, Lexi, look, I just, I have to say this to you. I know that everybody in town thinks I'm like this big Casanova, but that's not Marco, really- Marco, stop. I just got out of a long, bad relationship, and I lost my job in the same month. So I'm just not interested in dating anyone right now. Oh. Basically, it's not you, it's me. Okay. And a little bit you. You're a little cocky for my taste. Ouch. You don't like being rejected, do you? Well, that's actually what I was trying to tell you. I mean, look, this whole swagger that I have is just, I don't know, it's not really me. But sometimes it's just easier to play the part, I guess. Wow. <laughs> Got him with the honesty. Yeah. I hope you figure out a way to make your bakery happen. Thanks. I'll see you later. Okay. Bye. Bye. And then he said, see you later. That's it? He didn't keep pushing? No. Nope. Wow. You must have shut him down pretty hard. Not really. I just told him something honest, and he told me something honest right back. That's a novel concept for him. <laughs> anyway, why would he invest in me? He barely knows me. Um, it might be a little bit my fault. I have been kind of bragging on your culinary abilities for some time now. Oh, well, thank you for that. Hey, what's going on with the wine? I'm still, you know, just trying some stuff. Okay. Yeah. But the taste of St. Madeline's in a week. We can't put off telling Nate much longer. Let's talk about Marco some more. Nice try. Tell him. Pretty surreal seeing your name there, huh? Surreal is one word. Panic inducing is another. Actually, that's two words. Oh. <laughs> it's perfect. 
Okay, so we are all set for two bushels of tomatoes by Friday. All right. I wonder if I should have made three. Your list says two. As you both know, your lists are very precise. You're right. So we are pretty much all set for our food. We just need to confirm with the duck broker. Duck broker, that's a weird job. <laughs> oh, scarper daisies are gorgeous. <clears throat> for me, how'd you know? I am just psychic. Did you pay for them? I did not. Here's what I'd like to know. We saw a bag of sugar, said, where's this look like a cloud? And then they put it on a paper cone. I'm pretty sure it was a dentist. No, definitely not. I'm always right about these things. I will bet you $5. You're on. Who invented cotton candy? Hmm. A dentist. Oh, I just love being right. Oh, hey, they just delivered the empty bottles to the cellar, which means that we can finally start bottling our cab, which I cannot wait to taste. And you will. I just need a little bit more time. This must be perfect. Just keep pumping your genius into those crates, and it will be. You know, today we should probably get down to the event site and start lining up the tents on the outer edge of the field, and we should check to make sure that the generators are working, and that we put in the alligator wrestling pit and the grizzly bear petting zoo. Kids will love that one. That'll be a good, just a good idea. Frankie, yes, you're not listening. I am. I am, because you said a lot about tents, and I feel like there's a generator and an alligator. You said alligator. Sorry? <laughs> Frankie, Nate, hey. hey. How are things going at Sorrento? Ready for the Summerfest onslaught? As ready as we'll ever be. How are all your wineries doing, Emma? Oh, fantastic. I still need more grapes to meet the man, though. I don't suppose you'd be interested in selling Sorrento. I'd pay top dollar. Uh, selling Sorrento in our first year is exactly what we're trying to avoid. Can't blame a gal for trying, hmm? You've got an outstanding property. All the best to you both. <laughs> what is she thinking? I would never sell her Sorrento. We just keep doing what we're doing, and we will never have to. Hey, thanks for coming. Hey, Mom. Oh, are those the new brochures featuring Sorrento? Indeed they are. Ah. Looks amazing. You don't seem too happy about them. Well, let's put it this way. Charles paid to have them printed. That was nice of him. Tell your dad, well played. I might be ignoring my text. What's down in the wine cellar? I'm running a marathon? Oh, it was hot down there today. Okay, well, I can check out the cooling system. No, it's fine. Fixed it. Just hit it a little bit. So what's up? Thought maybe you could give me a hand. Thought maybe we could try to put them up ourselves before spending a lot of money on a setup crew. Good idea. We should save as much as possible. Yeah, OK. All right. You want to hold it here? Yeah. OK. And put this in here. All right. Here you go. Okay. Get that pull. This one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. Got it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Chaz, this is a corner. No, you gotta go a little higher. Can I just do Hurry. this corner? Yeah, okay. yeah, push it up high. Higher. Higher. This is as high as Higher, 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 higher. Okay, and slip it. Call the setup crew. Already dialing. Okay, thanks. All right, so I got a couple of guys that are gonna come by tomorrow to help set up the tents. Okay, well, between that, the equipment rental, 
the shuttle buses and the security. We are running out of money really fast. We'll be fine, just as long as there's no surprises. Um, if there were any unanticipated expenses, we could just borrow from your mom, right? What? No. No. Look, we are hosting Summerfest. That means that we pay the expenses for the tasting and the dinner. That's just the way that it works. Look, Nate, I understand that you want to prove yourself. No one gets that more than I do, but maybe this is not the time for that. I mean, what if the wine is... This is exactly the right time. It's just like last year when you left Baldwin Farms to buy Sorrento with me. You had something to prove then, and you did it. Yeah, but I haven't proven myself with Sorrento yet. But you will. Just a few days. So will I. You did not have to come over and make me breakfast today. I thought it would be nice to have a little last time before the day got too hectic. Mm. Besides, I will cook for you every day when we live together. In this place together, like I know in the future. What yeah, you okay. Mean. <laughs> mm. So, is uh, breakfast every day all I get in this someday scenario? Oh no, you also get a charming, handsome-ish, witty man mm -hmm. by your side forever. Sounds pretty good. Yeah. When's he get here? That's not funny. All the uh, Hey, look, you are cramping my style. Go get your own girlfriend. I think it's sweet that he's jealous. Yeah, well, look, if you don't stop, I'm going to have to send you up to Summerfest to haul some things. Stop it, you'll scare him. He's a pack animal. He needs to earn his keep. He does. He's my guard llama. And <laughs> what does he guard against? Hmm. Handsome, charming, witty men who try to kiss me. Yeah? Mm -hmm. And you really feel like you need that kind of protection? No. Okay. Lexi! Hi. Oh, hey, Marco. I was uh, just getting some supplies for a Stormfest booth. Nice. What are you up to? Well, since Nate's doing the pairing, I called the building's owner and asked if I could use their ovens for my Summerfest baking. And he called back the next day and said yes. Just got the key. People here are so nice. That's amazing. I'm so happy for you. Thanks. Must have been the bribery. Okay. I told him he could have as many cookies as he wanted. That's right. Yeah, that would do it. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> yeah. I'll I'll see you later. Yeah, I'm gonna get back to shopping. So. Okay. Bye. Cellar. Would you, uh, would you mind coming down here? Actually, it's, it's kind of important. Can it wait till after dinner? What? Oh my gosh, dinner at your mom's house. I am so sorry. I don't know where my head is at today. Just get here as soon as you can. Bring Lexi. Your dad's already here. Hi, right, sweetie. Hi. See you in a few. Pretty nice of the business owner to just let Lexi use the bakery space. Yeah, very. Wow. So this is serious. What? <laughs> Come on. You're usually the first to take credit for, well, virtually anything, and now you're pretending that you didn't go down and talk okay, to Okay, 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 just yeah. don't say anything, all right? She really wants to do this on her own, and I don't want to mess it up for her. No. I won't say a word. Thank hey. you. Hey. Do you mind if I went somewhere and just, just talk for a second? Okay, everybody. Chicken is just about done. If everyone would just take a seat. 
In the meantime, why don't you tell us how your preparations are coming along at Sorrento? Uh -huh. Well, it is a little bit hectic, but we're going to be ready. It is going to be a great weekend. <sighs> so, are you feeling better about it, Frankie? Uh, it's, it's been a little stressful, but I am actually enjoying the hosting part so much, I am starting to wonder if we should even have our own food and wine pairing this year. Just hosting is kind of an out. <laughs> and where are we supposed to launch our first Cabernet? Roadside stand? I just want to devote all of the time that we have to making sure that the chefs, the vintners, the guests want to make sure everyone has a first class experience, you know? Wait, Frankie, where's this coming from? I mean, you didn't even really want to host in the first place. Well, clearly I was wrong about that. Just hosting Summerfest is incredibly prestigious on its own. I don't think we even need to release our Cabernet this year. What? We're getting so much buzz. Just off of hosting, can you imagine if we could just wait until next year to release our first vintage? The kind of publicity that we would get? I think it's a win-win. Hey, Frankie, the whole reason why we're hosting is to shine a spotlight on our first Cabernet since we took over Sorrento together. Why would you not want to do that? Are you sure? Frankie. The wine isn't ready, Nate. It's not gonna be ready in time for Summerfest. It's probably not gonna be ready this year. Why wouldn't you tell me? Because the timing of it was my responsibility. I, I was wrong. Excuse me. <laughs> Frankie, Frankie. Look, I get it. You're unhappy with me, all right? No, I'm not unhappy, but I am confused. Look, if you were having doubts about the wine, why wouldn't you just talk to me? Because it seemed like every other thing you could say was about how great the wine was going to be, and I, I just didn't have the heart to tell you that it wasn't. Now everything's riding on it. Look, I know that you want everything to be perfect, but we need a wine to bottle. A winery is only as good as this last year's vintage, and for us, it's also our first. But we agreed from the very beginning that all final decisions relating to the wine are mine. Yes, but we need a wine to sell this year, or we won't be able to make our payments. And when our loan is due, that's it. I thought for sure it would be ready by now. Well, it isn't. I did everything I could to improve it. It didn't work. No one feels worse about this than I do. You have no idea how easy you've got it, Mittens. This is what it's come down to. Jealous of Mama. Well, he does have luxurious hair. How long have you been standing there? Hours. I'm like a ninja. I just got here. Come on. Let's go for a walk. Sorrento isn't just business to me. It's our story, and I don't want that story to end. I think I do. But you said yourself we have no other way to stay above water. There is one option that we haven't talked about. What? We sell half of our crop this fall. Remember how Emma wanted to buy the entire place? Well, I know she'd be happy to get her hands at least on some of our grapes. If we do that, we'll barely have enough wine to barrel next year. We'll cross that bridge when we get there. As of now, our loan payment is due, and either we sell our wine, which we don't have, or we sell our grapes. It is what it is. Then what? And then we just keep moving forward. I guess you probably heard that Frankie and Nate won't be releasing their Cabernet this weekend. Yeah, I know. And they're not doing the food pairing either, for obvious reasons. Right. 
So, I was kind of wondering if maybe you wanted to do a dessert for the DeLuca pairing. With Chef Jane? Yeah, if you want. <laughs> Working with her would be a dream. Great, so you're in. I'm still not gonna go out with you. Good, that's good, because I wasn't gonna ask again. Yeah, and reverse psychology isn't gonna work either. Definitely not doing that, because I wouldn't even know how. Okay, so, so if you don't want to date me, why are you helping me? I like you, Lexi. Thanks, Marco. I like you too. And I'm in. Guessing Lexi must really appreciate everything that you've done for her. Life-changing opportunity. Yeah. You know what's weird? What's that? I didn't even do it to try to get her to go out with me. It just kind of felt good to help. Oh, yeah? Well, I hate to say it, Marco, but you're a good guy. Huh. So how many more of these do you need? I don't know if went back can take much more. We need to do another load. Got to bring these up to the Taste of St. Madeline site, put tabletops on them. Ugh. You're killing me, bro. Oh, yeah? What happened to the, uh, just feels good to help bit? That only applies to Lexi. <laughs> All right, well, then I will buy you a beer. Two. You will buy me two beers. All right, deal. Ugh. You know, maybe I should get out of the wine business. Start making beer. Might as well. You can't do much wine making if you're selling off half your grapes anyway. Actually, over the past few months, I've been experimenting on this test road, this fertilizer I created. It's increasing yield without compromising quality. Yeah, pretty sure one row won't make a difference. No, you're right, one row won't, but... Can we just get this done? I want that beer. Yeah, great. Put that in the back tent. Uh, it was ordered, so it will be delivered shortly. Okay, everyone, we need all of the electric to be operational by tomorrow morning. Thank you. So, you want to take it down? I just don't want to miss out on Sorrento's chance to really shine. So what are you saying? You changed your mind about the Cabernet? No, I think I've come up with a compromise. We used the rest of the wine that I made last year with my dad's grapes. You're saving that for a special occasion. It is a special occasion. Look at us. Sorrento's hosting two Summerfest events. That might not happen again. It's not even a Sorrento wine, so what's the point? It's from the Sorrento winemaker. Puts us front and center. It shows people what we can do. Yeah, you're right. Can't hurt. Right? And, uh... I think we take that deal with him and Nolan. Sell her half the grapes. We'll keep us afloat. That's better than nothing. So, we have a deal for half of our grapes this fall. I'll wire you the advance today. The rest comes after the harvest. Deal. You look happy. I am. You know how my fertilizer is making my test row yield so many more grapes? Oh, you've mentioned it. <laughs> well, I realized, since we're selling half of our grapes, why not just make the ones that we have left more numerous and as high quality as possible? I think that sounds like a great idea in theory, but isn't that what your new test fertilizer is, a theory that you're testing? It is no longer theoretical. It works. And that's why I decided to spray the rest of the vineyard with it. Wow. Um, isn't that kind of a big decision that you should have talked to me about? Uh, well, it's kind of like your decisions with the wine, right? I mean, that's your area of expertise. This is mine. Okay, okay. <laughs> 
<laughs> so Emma gets a greater yield on her half, which will make us more money, and we'll also see an increased yield on her side. Exactly, yes. Allowing us to make more than enough Sorrento wine. You see, problem solved. Seems like it. You don't seem too happy about it. I am. It's great news. a first-rate winemaker, Frankie. The best I've ever seen. Oh, don't, uh, don't tell my mom I said that, though. I would never. Okay. It's gonna work out, okay? All of it. Hey, don't you have a dessert inside? Burning something? Go inside. I know, I know. Leave Lexi alone. Actually, I, got it. I was gonna say, I really appreciate what you did for her. I mean, hooking her up with Chef Jane, that's a huge deal. Thank you. Okay, Frankie, listen, I know you're not exactly the biggest fan of mine, especially after I broke up with your friend, but, I mean, don't I deserve a chance to change, to be better? Well, sure. I just think that that kind of change takes time. Not if you want it bad enough. Okay, it is time for the official Taste of St. Madeline trial run. I have duck confit tacos with poblano salsa and a jicama slaw. Mm. All right, Lexi. Oh, thank you. Marco, thank you. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. So good. Oh. <laughs> good. Mm -hmm. oh. Lexi, you're up. Guys, I feel bad. Are you sure you don't want me to make this for this rental pairing instead of DeLuca? You miss out on your chance to impress Chef Jane? Are you out of your mind? No, but we do get to try it though, right? Okay. This is a blueberry peach tartatin with Madagascar vanilla glaze. Looks amazing. It really does. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh, it's so good. Oh so good. Oh, wow. <laughs> well, Frankie, mm. your turn with the wine. This is so good. <laughs> Here it is. My prize winner from last year. Hope you all enjoy it, because there's not much left. <laughs> all right. Probably never gonna make something quite this good again. Yeah, you will, Frankie. I have no doubt. Jonah, any crime yet? Hey. No, no, everyone's having a great time. Man, am I bored. Sorry <laughs> to hear that. Yeah, well, what are you gonna do? Well, I could jaywalk, if that would make you feel better. You could let me off the warning. No, that's a kind offer, but no, I'm good. Me being bored means I'm doing my job right. Right. Anyway, I'll take a wristband for tomorrow, though. Oh, Jonah, you don't have to pay. You're kind of in good with the hosts. Yeah, but still, I heard you guys decided not to launch your vintage. Between that and how much hosting Summerfest is gonna cost you, I'm totally paying. Come on. Yeah, I need to get some more wristbands from your mom. Tell me the truth, is the wine really not good? 
Haven't tried it yet. You made the decision not to launch? You haven't even tried it yet? Why not? Because it's Frankie. She doesn't trust anyone with that decision but herself. And I trust her. It just seems like it would be something you want to do together. My sister's a perfectionist. No one's harder on herself than she is. Sometimes maybe a little too hard. Okay. Good for you. Thank you. Okay, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Okay. I'm gonna go head back over to Sorrento, just make sure everything's lined up for tomorrow. Okay. You mind manning the table? No. Talk to you. Nate, what did you do? I know, I'm sorry, but I had to try it for myself. Why did you spray the entire vineyard with this if you weren't sure that it was going to work? I don't know. How did this happen? This was supposed to work. It was working. This is what's happening to the test finds. This is what's going to happen to the entire vineyard. This doesn't make any sense. I went over the chemistry a hundred times. If we lose these finds, we lose everything. Okay. Okay, I'll take care of it, I promise, okay? Plus, we have the new Cabernet. No, we don't. I tried it. When? Just now. And it's fantastic, so whatever it is that you did, it worked. I've been checking it consistently ever since I tried to accelerate de aging. It's not working yet. So that's why it was so hot? Yes, but it didn't work. It's not where I want it right Frankie, now. Frankie, I think maybe your standards are just too high. Our standards are who we are. I'm not gonna take a risk on that. Why in the way you took a risk on this fertilizer? Okay, I will figure this out. I just need a little bit of time. So does mine. And we are hosting the biggest event of the year in less than 24 hours. So time is the one thing we don't have. to the taste of St. Madeline. I am so glad you made it back this year. We wouldn't miss it. We certainly appreciate the coverage you each give our Valens wineries. And I think you'll find this year's host, Sorrento Farms, is doing a marvelous job. You know we're aware they're your kids, right? They are. <laughs> <laughs> How was the drive up? Beautiful, thank you. Good, good. I've had like 
23 of those tarts, and I'll probably have, like, 23 more. But she said she's only gonna feature my dessert today if she likes it right now. She said no trial runs. She wants to see how I perform under pressure. Hey, look at me. You got this, okay? Really. a little trouble reading you here, Chef. Lexi, I haven't been rendered speechless over someone else's food in years. In a good way? In a great way. This is delicious. I know you said you wanted to work for yourself and open your own bakery. I do. Yeah. Are you sure you don't want investors? I know, you think I'm crazy. No, I don't. You're independent. How about we make a deal? You supply my restaurants with desserts for the next year. I would, I would love to, but I, I don't have a space. Well, if the bank sees that you're working with me, they'll give you the loan. You can open your own shop, and I get the pastry chef that I've been looking for. <laughs> what do you think? I think this is the best day of my life. It's a deal. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> this is delicious. Thank you. No, 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 you did this all by yourself. I you know what you did, what you've done to help. You gave me the chance to shine. Well, you deserve that. So, I know we've talked about you asking me out, but what if I asked you out? Would you go? Wait, is this reverse psychology? No. This is me moving forward. Yes, yes, absolutely, yes, yes. Good. Good. Okay. Uh, let's get to work. Okay. okay. Hey, Emma, how's it going? Hey, good. What you got cooking today? We are pairing duck confit tacos with poblano salsa and a jicama slaw. Ah, oh, that looks amazing, but I have to admit, I'm mostly excited about the wine. I can't wait to see what you've done with Sorrento grapes, especially since we're getting half of them this year. <laughs> Actually, there's been a slight change. We are delaying Sorrento's first vintage. What you have here is the wine that I made with the Baldwin grapes last year. Wait, you mean this is the award-winning wine no one can find anywhere? The very one. Yeah. Right, there's not much of it left. It's heavenly. Thank you. Yeah. <sighs> Thank you. Here. Oh. Wonderful. Here. See that? The Cabernet we have in the cellar never could have gotten that kind of reaction. Well, maybe if you had just tried it again. Hey, Jonah. Can you mind taking over for me for a minute? Yeah, yeah, sure. Where are you going? Just uh, being a good host, making sure things running smoothly. the last event, it won't be available anywhere else. We cannot do seconds. I am so sorry. Hey, hey listen, more. Frankie. Oh, I hi. To... Thank you. Uh, no. Hey, but... I'll talk to you on things I don't. Okay, no, no, but I wanted to know if you mm. could... Hi, um, me? I got it. We just wanted to say to both of you, you've done a wonderful job pulling Summerfest together last minute. Thank you. Thank you. Of course, you really came over for the debut of your Sorrento Cabernet. Ah, yes, absolutely. And I must tell you, before you take even one sip of that... Don't say a thing. Let the wine do the talking. No, you don't understand. That's not the wine that you're expecting. Mm. I'm getting notes of cassis and blackberry. Huckleberry, too. Yes, that's exactly it. This is superb. I'm sorry. I have to stop you right there. There's been some misunderstanding. This is not my new Cabernet. This, this is, is our new Cabernet because we are a team here. Team Sorrento. Isn't that right, Frankie? Have you tried this? Uh, no, not yet. It's exceptional. 
really? Wow, that's great to hear. <laughs> I, what are you doing? I'm stopping you because what they just drank is actually our new Cabernet. What? Uh, <laughs> looks like Sorrento has a winner. <laughs> That just happened. What have you done? Well, I, okay, look, I was just, I was bringing up the bottle for you to taste our new cab again. Then you started pouring it, thinking it was the old one, and it's the best mistake ever, right? I don't Cranky, wow. the critics love the wine. They love the wine. Hey, hey. We're all getting texts from friends following Summerfest online. Get ready for a huge rush of people. No, I, well, I only pulled one bottle's worth of Sorrento's cab. You got corks and bottles, right? I mean, of course. One barrel is 300 bottles. That should be enough for the rest of Summerfest. Let me get you some help. Hey, let's go. No, let's go. Let's go. Hey, Jonah, do you think you can contain the masses until we get back with our first case? You got it. I'll help. OK. Hey. Lexi, no, what are you doing? You have to stay with Chef Jane. We're good. Really good. I'll tell you later. We have wine to bottle. Here it goes. moment that it's ready. I guess I just came down at the right time. You found the sweet spot. Only because you got it there. No. I, mean, I was just lucky enough to taste it. This is all you, Frankie. Come on. Are we waiting for us to get this to summer fest? If you try to skip the line, you go straight to the back, okay? <laughs> but please be patient. Everyone will get a turn. And here they are. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you ready for this? did it. And Taste of St. Madeline was a huge success. And your new Cabernet was such a big hit. You must be stoked. <laughs> yeah, we are. And thank you so much, guys. You helped guest rental back on track. Hey, you don't seem so stoked. I am. I am. I just... I get it. You're worried about the vines, but we should just be happy about today. And I will figure out a fix for it. We have a couple of months. Like that. That is it. That is the issue right there. Look, I thought that I had to fix the wine by myself. You think that you have to fix the vines on your own? We've never even considered doing those things together. We haven't even talked about it. Look, we said from the beginning that this was a partnership, but it hasn't really felt like one. It's only because I knew that you wouldn't be able to keep things separate if something went wrong. Do you really think that the success of our relationship is based on the success of Sorrento? No, I don't. But I do think that both are based in communication and trust. And if we don't have that, yes, I do think Sorrento will fail. Maybe so will we. Hey, you're not even dressed yet. 
Look, I'm just a little busy here, okay? I mean, I, I am so close to figuring out a way to neutralize that fertilizer. It's just, it's just not there yet. Okay, well, half of St. Madeline is about to show up for the long table dinner, and they're gonna want to see their host. So. Where's Frankie? Lexi's with her. They're up at the house. I put way too much pressure on her. You know, she was so worried about disappointing me that we almost lost the rental. I mean, we still might. You need to fix this. And, I mean, you two can work this out. Look, we all know that you wanted to keep everything separate, Nate, but why? I mean, Sorrento is a labor of love. Yours and Frankie's, together. Since when did you become so wise in relationships? I haven't been in one for longer than six months. I guess I finally realized what I've been doing wrong this whole time. What's that? I was making everything about me and not about us. You know, it might be genetic, if you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah, I, I know what you mean. And I hear you. You still got to come to the dinner. Right. Right. Okay. Hey. Hi. What are you doing? We have to start getting ready for the long table I dinner. I know, I know. I just need five more minutes. We really need to find a way to save our crop. Isn't Nate in charge of the vines? Yes, but I don't help. Then why aren't you doing it with him? Um, we just don't do that very well. Frankie, um, look, everything Nate did was with the best intentions. Yes, I know that, me too. But don't you see, if you two didn't care about each other so much, neither of you would have gone to all the trouble that you did. You were both trying to make Sorrento better for each other. Now you just need to learn how to do that together. I know. I know you're right. Come on, let's go. It's a wonderful evening, isn't it? As most of you probably know, Charles and I usually like to get up at these things and take all the credit. Right? <laughs> <laughs> but this year, all the credit has to go to Nate DeLuca. And Frankie Baldwin. They took Summerfest from near cancellation to new heights. So we would like to toast our host, Sorrento Farm, using their incredible Cabernet Sauvignon that they created. Uh, Frankie, Nate, come on up here. To our hosts for giving us a summer fest that no one will ever forget. Mm, thank you. Thank you. To Frankie and Nate. <laughs> to Frankie, Frankie and Nate. Nate. Say something, you guys. Uh, <laughs> OK. Well, tonight's dinner is not just about Sorrento, or me, or Frankie. It's about St. Madeline. Everything that makes us a family. We feel so very lucky to do what we do and to live here in what is absolutely the most stunning setting <laughs> on Earth. <laughs> We're part of a shared history. The soil we work, the grapes we grow, this amazing town we live in. And it's not just all about the wine or the vines. It's about the heart. And as an incredible, wise, and beautiful woman once told me, you can't have one without the other. <laughs> <laughs> the summer in St. Madeline. Summer in St. Madeline. Woo. Let's eat. Yeah. <laughs> You 
did it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you too. <laughs> so, did you find out about all the stuff that you did for her? No. <laughs> Turns out she just likes me. Hey, why wouldn't she? Thanks, bro. Yeah. So, I thought you said you didn't want to date anyone for a while. Oh, well, he's not just anyone. Lexi, I know you don't approve. No, I was going to say I'm sorry. <laughs> he has changed. He deserves a second chance, and I'm gonna give him one. Good. You and Nate should give yourselves one, too. Look at this. Yeah. You pulled it off. Frankie, I'm so sorry. I feel like I may have ruined our entire crop. Trying to make it great, and you almost did. I've been working really hard trying to figure out solutions. Hey, but... it's funny you should mention that because I was actually thinking last night about how to neutralize the fertilizer, and I remembered this old trick that my grandparents used to talk about. It's bananas. Bananas? Crazy idea? No, it's bananas. <laughs> they used to plant the peels in the soil around the vines to build resistance to disease. What I think we should do is just put potassium directly into the water supply. Flush out the soil. We can stop the deterioration. Look, it won't reverse the damage that's done, but it's a start. Unless once the soil is flushed, we add back the exact right percentage of nitrogen and phosphorus, then we have both. You had the piece no, you had that the piece I was looking that, for. You had the piece I was looking for. <laughs> I think it's gonna, it's gonna work. work. Yeah, I do. <laughs> I think it's gonna work. Okay, you know what, now? You have to try the duck with our new Cabernet. I guess it's time. They're each incredible on their own, but together it's like they're... The perfect pairing. Exactly. Frankie, we should have been working together, side by side, trying to make each other better. We're spending so much time trying to press each other by doing our own thing that we pushed away from each other. Nate, even if we didn't have Sorrento, even if we lost it all, I wouldn't care. As long as I have you. I don't want to be right. I just want what's right for us. <laughs> to the perfect pair. I love you so much, Frankie.